Um, I, I think that um, I think that the most important thing uh, when you're when you're do, doing food photography is you know you want to you're missing the scent you can't people can't taste the food so you want to capture it as best as possible so people feel like they're really tasting it um, and one of the greatest articles that really inspired me I want to share is the top, this this article from Snapforce I'm just going to share my screen here so I can share the article with you and just talk over some of the points um, because these tips I use all the time. Um, when when uh, when doing food photography, um, uh, so natural light is always your friend, um, um, and so using natural light can really make food look a lot more appetizing and a lot more tasty. So I'd always recommend using as much natural light as possible. Uh, this can be challenging if you're in a intimate, you know, romantic restaurant, and you're just not going to get that good photos in that environment, and you just need to you know accept that. But, um, and you can't use your flash in those restaurants because it's rude to all the other diners. I, I've learned that the hard way. <laughs> so um, natural light in the cafes is fantastic um, or in during the day. Um, the angle that you shoot is also super important. So you can see some examples here. Shooting from overhead um, ma makes it look really good, um, for, for, especially for dishes like pizzas, um, you know, or um, that works really well. Um, dishes that don't work well overhead are sandwiches, uh, sandwiches or hamburgers or wraps. You need to get them on the side um, so you can see all the delicious ingredients. Um, so, like, here's a – here's a wait, let me show an overhead shot here. Uh, let's stop presenting and I present my entire screen. Share. So this is an example of an overhead shot that I did in a restaurant in Melbourne. Um, and, you know, you can make some changes. Like I, I changed the burger. To, I opened up the burger so you could see all the ingredients. Uh, and, and I, uh, you know, so this, this makes it look more, more, more appealing. The salad looks appealing. So, yeah, this, if, you, if you think about how you can do it, I think you just did. Um, yeah, that, that, that can work really well. Another and of course there's stew, which no one can ever make look appealing. <laughs> Yeah, the, yeah, that the meatball that's tough. I, yeah, I had a, I think in that album, I have a on that day, I took another photo of that uh stew that came off quite well. One thing you might notice there, Walter um, Max is looking for that shot, is he takes a lot of photos. <laughs> this was on Valentine's Day, which is why we have a kid's photo. So, this here, this was this was um. After I dropped one of the meatballs, <laughs> after I uh, after I after I started eating it, but actually made it made it for a better photo because it had some action, it had some some life to it, which is kind of funny. Um, yeah, so like uh, yeah, so it's always funny, you know. Sometimes your perfect photo you think is ruined, but actually it makes it more exciting or more interesting. And that image I then turned into uh, this Instagram story. <laughs> Shirt ruined. Um, so yeah. Um, now, now you know where the red shirt comes from. Yeah, <laughs> this is a, this is another photo. This was shot at a sort of a side angle because I wanted to get the the burger to get all the fillings in the burger. But this dish here, uh, this the 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 um, salad bowl, you know, is a great top down shot. So um, I don't. I think these are my photos on Chapel Street. So Google, I'm using Google Photos. You can see the photos on Chapel Street. I'm, I'm going to lose that, but. Um, yeah, so that is that is another tip to to escalate your photos. Yeah, that's the same photo on an angle, and that one's top down. So it it that looks just looks a lot. The things look a lot better from the top down. If, and this dish is really composed really well, so it just looks very photography friendly. Um, now the number three is don't zoom, um, particularly if you're using an iPhone. This is you know if I'm. Uh, your, uh, you know, there's different levels of zoom, but it's um, if, as soon as you go from optical zoom to digital zoom, um, that really loses the quality. So on an iPhone, you, usually two times zoom is the maximum. Um, anything above that is digital zoom. And with Android, you you can if you look in your phone's manual, you'll be able to tell what's digital and what's optical. Always use optical zoom. 
Paul, have you ever had digital Zoom and have you had a bad experience with digital Zoom? Yeah, it can get very blocky and uh, quite a bit nasty. Mm, it the, gets, the, gets fun. the Pixel's a little bit handy because it has got real Zoom to an extent. Yeah. Oh, so how many times Zoom has the Pixel got? I can't actually remember, to be honest. But I know it, it has um, got a real Zoom in it. I think the current iPhone cool. does too. The current iPhone, it, it doesn't. It has two... It has two lenses. Yeah, it's one at, so it, it's not actual zoom. It's just a, it's a it's a, a wider lens. Um, but it does feel on when you use the, but it looks like it's zoom on the on the iPhone when yeah. Um, so the other thing I really recommend is that if you if you have those grid lines, you can actually also put grid lines on on your phone, and so grid lines help you compose the shot better. So if you have the option for grid lines, most phones have them. You should put them on. Um, number five is pick a simple neutral background. Um, so that's always good. If you don't want your background to be too colorful or too distracting, you want the focus to be on the food. So if you see on these ones here, that plain wood is, is great because it just sets the, makes the food look a lot better. I, I know someone who actually carries a, um, printed background, which is wood that they take <laughs> really? places and put the food on it. Yeah. That's amazing. It would get a bit repetitive, though, but it, it's still a great idea. Um, garnishing your food always helps. So if there's some if there's some nice salt on the table, some nice herbs. Um, if you're making food at home, always you want to garnish it with some nice nice herbs because um, they just give it they just make it pop. Um, experimenting with plating is really good. You know, getting. Um, you know, if, if, if it's a salad, you know, make sure you make sure that all the, you've got some of the salad ingredients represented on the top. You got to toss that salad good um, to get the, to get that salad out there. Unless it's like a really like a very manicured layered salad, like you can see on this one here. Um, uh, you know, you want to put some props in it, in it and that looks good. That will elevate your game. Um, hands are always great. Um, you know, if, if you're holding a hot dog, hot dog work great with ha with um with hands um and just just makes it sh gets that alive it just yeah um uh, this one's a great one uh so you want to you want to it's great to use an instagram filter uh that, that instagram filters are great um to just give it a bit more of a different look but you don't want to give it too much um so i always find that like 10 to 20 between there is the speed spot if you're using instagram filter anything more It'll just be like <laughs> too much. You'll look like a crazy pineapple. Um, you want it to look natural. Um, and the final one, shoot up close. I mean, you can see how much more delicious those dishes look when you're really getting close. So I always recommend trying to get in as close as possible so you can see the details of the food. Um, you know, yeah, always, always try and get yeah, always try and get in close. So you can really see all the, you know, the, the source. You can see the, well, you can't see the crab because it's hidden. You, know, you always want to get in close so you can see the full dish. Um, yeah, let me. This is yeah. These ones here, you know, the poke bowls. Um, the closer you are, the better. The better it will look. Um, I don't take that many ones far away. Um. Yeah, um, and so that's my tips. But you know, I'm going to open up to the audience. It's not just about me. I want to know. Um, put in the comment in the chat. What are your What are your top tips for taking great food photography? I, I'd like to know what your tips are. Um, let me just see if I got any comments here. Oh yeah, not yet. Um, but apparently, put, put comments in there. <laughs> Who's hungry? Hands up if you're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, that's my that's my tips. Um, and yeah, so and if you want to if you want to if you want to learn more about and see more of my, my my photography, you can go to you can always check it out on my Instagram or on my uh, for food stuff. Check you can I always put all my food photos on maxplusfood.com as well.